I'm going to blame it on two things. I'm going to blame it on my mum for phoning me, but it's also my fault for not having my shit on not disturb, do not disturb. And I'm going to blame the shadow of Mercury retrograde. Okay? Because that whole video is gone now. This is okay. It's okay. This, this is some shit that I would normally do on Instagram and it wouldn't be a big deal. But here on YouTube, I just don't know. I just don't know how much this is going to all be looking. But, um, yeah. So, what I'm going to do at the end, I'm going to carry on from where we left off. I know it's going to be weird for you lot just coming in. But um, I'm going to carry on where we left off and then I'm going to do an overall. I hope I can do an overall. What are these cards doing on the floor? I've got some random cards on the floor that I'm going to have to talk about. Hey, guys. It's just, it just all went left, guys. I don't know what happened. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back, guys. I mean, we covered so much in it. We talked about so many interesting things. And then um, we got cut off. So like I said, I'm going to continue from where I left off. I pulled sacral chakra, base chakra, sacral, not base chakra, root chakra card um hold on can you shut the door for me please thank you thank you yeah <laughs> i told you it, the door was gonna go as well i could feel i can feel things so um hey rika Sorry, we lost that whole live. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna definitely do an overall and then I'm gonna definitely, um, right at the end, I'm gonna read that last little piece from in the meantime. But there was lots of information there in it. Um, I can't be repeating any of it because that was a lot of things. So, yeah, so we got the base chakra from the sacred tarot, psych psychic tarot of the heart. And this is all about your your basic needs. This is all about your um, your survival. This is all about having food to eat, having a roof over your head, all the basic basic needs. But this is also about grounding yourself. This is all also about staying grounded, especially in this Pisces energy, because Pisces can be a little bit whimsical. You know what I mean? Little will o' the wisp and shit. You know, because they can be a little bit, um, they romanticise life differently. So I feel like the, the sacral chakra came out so that we can learn to root ourselves, learn to stay grounded in all of the unknown that we are, are hoping to explore during this time. So, yeah. Um, that's the base chakra. I'm really, like, miffed. I, I, I would... And I didn't get to save it. I mean, I pressed save a hundred times and it didn't save. Hey, Faithy. Um, so, yeah, so I just want to see if there's anything else, any other messages that want to come through from the Psychic Tower of the Heart in regards to this full moon in Pisces that we are having right about now. Right about now. What about now? And then we've got two extra cards, which I'm going to have to speak on. I'm going to have to speak on the two cards that came out. Girl! Girl! Listen, make, let me stop shouting. Let me stop shouting. <laughs> I should have put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Thank you. Should we just plug my sister again? This is from my sister. These pants are from um, Africa's Pride from my sister Tanya. Um, she's africaspride.com. She's Africa's Pride on Instagram. And you can order your pants worldwide. She international, baby. She international, baby. So, yeah. Oh, wait. We got, we got a card. Oh, we got Master, which is, I think this is the magician. Here we go. I think this is the magician. It could be. It might not be. 
I'm sorry, just so much cleavage for you lot today. But it's the outfit. I mean, it's the whole outfit. Can we just can we just rock with it? Standing up is better. But you know, when I'm sitting down slunched over, it just looks like too much. But I mean, it's not it's not bad. It's not bad. And you already know, man. From the time you come here, I love taking risks. I do. I just I just it's my life. Master, which is it's the devil card. So again, this is it makes sense. It makes sense that this is the devil card because if we're talking about the root chakra and we're talking about your basic needs and the basic things um, that we we feel that we need to survive, then a lot of that is tied to the world, it's worldly. Because the devil is not necessarily just about, you know, it's not evil. I don't think the devil card is evil in any sense of the word. I think it's everything to do with, you know, just being attached to the lower vibrational things um of 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 our experience that's all i think it is so it's about detachment it's about detaching from i told you that because we were talking about seeds in the first video i'm sorry guys everything went left left so um can we get the same amount of likes for the amount of y'all that are coming in please thank you i'm distracted because i have a guest and they're playing music distracted slightly but it's all right though hey jessica so yeah um the devil energy with the root with the root chakra is just letting you know that um your basic needs are met but not from not from this energy from the divine as, as long as you are walking as long as you are walking in your purpose and lots of people are like what the fuck is my purpose i don't know what my purpose is your purpose is to just be your purpose is to be authentically you. That was the that was the um, theme of the new moon in Pisces reading that I did back in March. The, the 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 your purpose is to be authentically you, to be an example of what it is to be free. That's that's what you that's what you're here to do. That's what you're here to do. So once you start doing that, your basic needs are already met. Your basic needs are already met. There is nothing, you don't go without anything. You get that, right? So, um, when I jumped up to answer my door, these two cards came up. The Lovers and the Six of Cups. I didn't, they just were there looking at me when I came back and sat back down on the floor. So, obviously, you know that... <laughs> The lovers, I explained this, I think, I don't know where I explained it. I did it. No, I definitely explained it in the last reading, didn't I? It was in the last reading because I was like, oh, so boom. So the lovers come from two different energies. They come from Mars energy. They come from Venus energy. They come from completely different planets. And what brings them together is divine intervention. Um divine intervention will continue cosmic intervention will continue to bring these two together it will just continue to do that so um if you're having any concerns about um these things uh just understand just let it flow just just chill just relax don't do too much because divine intervention will always come together to bring these opposing forces together it's a balance it's a balance of the, the masculine and the feminine, it's a balance of fire and water, it's a balance of um, yin and yang. So again, we talked about the yin and yang in the last video, I'm really, really upset. And the fact that it was my mum calling, I can't be too mad because my mum calling, in it? I mean, she didn't know, but she completely jacked up my whole team. But again, you know, I should have known better. I should have had my phone on do not disturb when I'm doing these things because it's not the first time it's happened. Um, so, yeah. Um, with that came the Six of Cups. So we're talking about past life, um, past life experiences, past life love ships. We're also talking about um, the innocence of these things, you know, to, to, to go back to the innocence of these things go back to the innocence again addressing what love means to you what does love mean to you at this point everything that you've learned um 
in your process, in your ascension process, how does love now look to you and what does that mean? How, now that it looks different, how will you then be moving accordingly? Do you get that? So, um, boy, this is going to be the quickest video that I have up because I'm going to just pull two more. No, I'm going to pull from three more decks. I'm going to pull from Moon Magic. No, I'm lying. It's not Moon Magic. It's called Making Magic Oracle. And then I'm also going to pull, we got the sun. Boom. Golden energy of the sun bringing fame and fortune. Look at that. Did you try that thing one last time? Did you? Did you? Did you, did you try that thing one last time? last time in the new moon in Pisces did you manifest something that you were thinking about or you've tried before and it didn't work um and that was blind faith that pulled you through at that time and now we are here in the full moon in Pisces and how does that look how does your manifestation from there look now and here is the sun in tarot it's the most positive card in the deck it's all your dreams fulfilled it's just it's wonderful it's hunky-dory it's freedom it's it's all of the things guan guan manda so it says golden energy of the light bringing fame and fortune i mean remember i told you already celebrities dead i told you that that you are the celebrities what is your inspiration how do you inspire others how do you inspire others What else do I want? I want moonology. Let's get some moonology. I, I, I'm looking at myself now because I'm like, shit. I don't know if everything's... Let me try and put things a little bit more in order so that when I do use lots overall, we are making sense of the teams. By making sense of the team, and then what did we pull? And then we got that, and then we got that. Then we got these two, then we got that. Okay. Okay, I can quickly tell you. Thank you lot for coming back. Thank you lot. Sorry, sorry, but I'm still going to give you lot an overall. So the whole reading was there. I'm trying to think, was there anything important that I said in the first video that got lost that um, I didn't say that needed to be said? Okay, so it's a nine month. So this in this full moon, is it's, it's a full moon of endings to allow for the new in the 10th month, in the 10, in the new, the new, the new, new. It's that time. It's my pleasure, Courtney. It's my pleasure. I mean, you lot, you lot give as much. I feel like you lot give as much as I give. I think it's an even exchange of energy, I think. So thank you. A new start is coming. What the fuck did I just say? Didn't I just say that? I, I just said it. Like this, this full moon. What can I hear? This full moon is removing anything that's standing in the way of your new beginning. So make sure that when you're writing down your rituals, okay, boom, let's quickly do the rituals thing quickly again for Sabrina, my awesome technician, technician, beautician. Um, let's quickly do that. So tonight or tomorrow, and you can do it even a couple of days afterwards because the full moon energy lasts for about 72 hours each side, yeah? So what you can do is get yourself a piece of parchment paper, write down your petition of release, anything that you feel is in the way of you truly starting afresh in whatever area you're thinking about, yeah? And then you're going to fold that three times away from you and then you're going to burn that under the full moon. And for those of you that did your petition of manifestation um, during the new moon um, where you did the same thing but you folded it towards you and then you placed it under your pillow with a piece of selenite um, for the two weeks, burn that too. Also, Monday is for white candles. We anoint them with um, lavender and ylang ylang. And what else do I want to say? What else do I want to say? Do I want to cram in that I, as I know I said a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff in the last one? I was coasting though. All right, boom. So let's just stick with that. So we've got the new moon, a new start is coming. And then we've got nothing yet is set in stone. So it's a mutable moon. It's a, it's it's flowing. Remember I told you Pisces is a water sign and it's it, it, it's all about going with the flow. It's all about, again, if we're dealing with water, it's 
being around water it's it's you know being by the sea being by rivers and streams being by i got this from tanya gabrielle because i watched her yesterday so i feel like i'm i'm plagiarizing but i'm not that's tanya gabrielle she does astrology she's sick sick with it um yeah so uh drinking lots more water as well because most of us are dehydrated in this thing i'm not gonna lie to you i haven't been drinking enough water and i started to feel it like uh, my stomach man digestion man you know so i've i've had to up on my water intake and my liquid intake um more teas and more water please um so yeah, nothing yet is set in stone. So you you just have to flow. You just, again stay in the moment. Stay by staying in the moment, you can't confuse yourself. By staying in the moment, you can't get ahead of yourself, and you won't run back into the past. You see me? I can't believe I'm doing this live with someone. I've never done any of my lives with anybody in the house before. My children, yes, but um, not guests it's, it's it feels a bit weird it feels a bit weird so anyway i want to read very quickly from moonology you guys thank you for sticking with me you know because this has been quite a long if you're thinking to how long you lot were here from the last videos it's, it's getting on for a long thing so you know me i want it i want i want to wrap it up now we'll wrap it up new moon it just says the new moon a new start is coming it just says new moon it doesn't even say anything else where are we it doesn't even say new moon eclipse it just says new moon so where's the sorry guys there it is 24 like a child honestly i really am i'm like a kid uh, trust me all right new moon is coming there is a yes coming your way this is one of your most auspicious cards of this deck it's totally positive and suggests look at this auspicious it's the most auspicious card in the deck i can't find the little round card and then we've got the sun in a completely different deck as well which is also the most auspicious card so it's totally positive and suggests something new and exciting is developing. The situation you're asking about is blessed and you are on target to achieve your goals. The message from the universe is that you're starting all over again in some new way. Be that on a new or better course or just feeling more positive about achieving your desired outcome. If you've been feeling stagnant, this card reminds you that life goes in cycles and you're moving in a new cycle now. Told you, endings, we are anything, anything that is standing in the way of your new beginnings, you moving forward, you best get rid of it tonight. Tonight. Okay. Um, this is the time to wipe the slate clean. If the situation you asked about has become toxic, um either that will clear up now or something totally new and fresh is on the way tune to the moon i'll see it when I, i'll see it when i believe it i'll see it when i believe it it took me a minute so you will only see what you believe if you don't believe that you are going to achieve and receive and ting and ting and ting remember it said be open to receiving accept help accept any help from another you know, if you don't believe, then you won't receive. You won't see it. You won't see it. So you have to stay faithful in your vision. You have to. Additional meaning of this card. A new start is on the way. You will soon start to feel more hopeful about getting what you want. Your belief that your dreams can manifest is working well. Forget about the past. That really is a thing. You need to forgive it. You need to just let it go. Forgive the past. It's happened, isn't it? Like, why are you still dragging that up? The teaching. The new moon marks that the start of the waxing cycle and the midpoint of the dark moon is a dark and veiled time. When the moon is invisible and a time of rebirth, 
I mean, we're stepping into, I told you already, we're stepping into um, this Divine Feminine season of winter. And then we are stepping into my favourite season of the year, which is Scorpio season. Because why? We get the opportunity to rebirth. We get the opportunity to phoenix ourselves. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Um, it's a time that witches do their work on the dark moons remember i told you that as well before we before the form for the new moon that's the dark moon okay I've, I've posted the information also up on my instagram um making wishes and laying down intentions for the new cycle and intensely magic it's it's an intensely magic time when it's easier to pierce the veil to other worlds this is what Pisces energy is all about piercing the veil to other worlds, getting involved in the unseen. You know, sorry for shouting. I don't know why I'm shouting. I really don't know why I'm shouting right now. I'm just quite excited. I'm excited. All right, so let's do an overall and then let's close with um, a soulful woman from my love. Sophie, yeah, the flowers are not in. I can't believe that the flowers are not Seba flowers. Let's get those flowers in to the picture okay right so first of all we got the queen and it talks about feminine energy it talks about fertility it talks about feminine power it talks about sex magic it didn't really talk about sex magic but we're in a full moon right now so you know sex magic is a theme it also talks about fertility it talks about these new souls wanting to come through like here and now now and here through you through these portals of the divine collective so it talks about friendship and support it also talks about woman so it talks about the energy of the divine feminine being um more and more prevalent in our world in 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 this energy right now and it talks about the ace of swords it, we, to clarify we got the ace of swords so the ace of swords is all about you know finding new ways to communicate finding new ways to express yourself i think in the last reading this is important i said you know if a man and a woman is arguing and the woman continues to rail up and continues to the argument will last forever but if the woman simmers down and calms down gets a hold of her emotions the argument's done the argument's done from the feminine stops talking the argument is done okay so just be mindful of that be mindful also we talked about accountability you know we talked about changing our mind but we're going to read real quickly from um ian lavanzance in the meantime at the end and then we're closing and then we got the eight of pentacles um which is letting you know that you've been doing your work is it the eight no it's the nine my bad it's the nine of pentacles i always get it i can't count so the nine of pentacles yeah it's like it's dreams fulfilled it's one away from your Ten of pentacles from your long money from that generational wealth so what you need to do is stay working your divine feminine energy you didn't hear in these new beginnings in the dark moons it's when the witches work their magic like it, it said blatantly it talked about us you know what i mean so stay diligently stay in your vision stay in your vision and allow your feminine energy to give birth to that you know because the masculine what the masculine does it comes with the ideas the masculine energy will come with the ideas it will come with the spark but it's the feminine energy that will birth that it's the feminine energy that will bring that to life give that life you see all right and then we got the horse and it says accepting help from another delegating authority so this is accepting help from not only um other people it's from the collective as a whole it's 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 being open to receiving um what the collective is 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 dishing out i said today like i the way i prayed today i cried me some tears and i prayed over all of y'all even those of you that i don't know your names i was into it i was into it i was using my 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 power my feminine energy to push that out into the the universe into the to, 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 to everything and to create um peace harmony and love I, I i believe that i have the power to do that especially when i'm connecting with mother you know i have the power to do that and so do you and like i was saying to you as turbulent as this year has been as this this five year has been i can feel the six energy now i can feel that nurturing energy coming through i can feel mum wanting to come through and take care of us 
you know, and to to nurture us and to to comfort us after everything we've been through in the last couple of years for crying out loud. It's been a lot of things in it. So with that, though, you can you can miss it. You can miss the opportunity to receive this help or you can you can be in this self-imposed prison of woe is me like it's just me poor me like the fuck like there's this is an army you are part of an army a collective of freedom fighters that's what you are you're part of that so therefore if 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 it's me then it's you if it's you then it's me you know so if 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 you're going through something you best believe that i'm going through something but you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pray on it thank you for the match i love the synchronicities i'm gonna pray on that I'm going to pray on that differently. I'm going to do all the things that bring me back to life. And then in turn, as an example, as your mirror, you can see what you need to do. And you will move accordingly and vice versa. You see that? I wouldn't have done an overall, you know, if my video didn't shut down. I would have just been getting ready to, to keep it moving. Anyway. So, yeah, get rid of your self-imposed prison. You know, you're not alone. You you have the power to move. You do, you're you stagnant because you want to, because you like it. Stop it. And then you got the dragon. Dragon's all about, um, it says power and strength. Again, we've got the same with the queen, the power and the strength of the of the feminine energy. But at the same time, this is this is mystical powers and strength. This is powers that you can't see. Um, this is this is knowing just having a quiet faith that we are got we are protected as, as long as we are walking in this in this 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 path this this path of ascension you you are always protected you all your needs are met at all times you were not put here to suffer so with that you got victory united we are victorious stop with the petty conflicts within your mind you know quiet the mind down and get into the heart you know what how does it feel pisces is all about your feelings you know how does that how did your thoughts make you feel and if they make you feel terrible change your mind change your mind to change your reality you have to see it to believe it is that what it said? Because I'm not sure if that's what it said. It was so good that I'm not going to paraphrase and get it wrong. What did it say? It said... Uh, I'll see it when I believe it. I'll see it when I believe it. You'll see it when you start believing in yourself, man. You'll see it when you start believing in your source. You'll see it when you start believing in your visions. You'll see it. It'll be undeniable. So, boom. Well, and then we got the base chakra you know these it came along with the devil so your 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 basic need for survival is based on everything you've been taught and learned from the lower vibrational energies of this 3d reality and basically what it's asking you to do is unsubscribe unsubscribe man get you some seeds start planting some shit get you doing some things you ain't never done before that's actually going to help you sustain yourself not only yourself but you your family your loved ones everybody thank you for the match for likes guys you lot are on it you lot are on it oh i love you sandra thank you so um and then the this is when the video this is when it all got this is when it went left yeah so when i jumped up the the psychic uh, no, no 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 the right away tarot decided to throw me out the lovers and the six of cups and we talked about um, the fact that these two represent yin and yang. They represent balance, right? So we got the equinox. We got this equinox happening on the 23rd, I believe. Yeah, so on the 23rd, my hair looks weird. On the 23rd, um, we, we, we are dealing with the equinox. This is when we have a balance of night and day. And this is also divine intervention. This is also divine intervention coming through with Archangel Raphael. This is also healing 
coming through, especially with these types, with these dynamics. This is more healing coming through as well. Because we already know, matched up with the Six of Cups, we know it's some past life shit. We know it's some shit that we've been doing before. And we're going to be doing things different. Again, perspective. What is your perspective? Change your mind if you're not loving the life that you're living. It's that simple. It really is. And then we got the Sun which is the most positive card in tarot, but this is obviously not tarot, but it says here, the golden energy of the sun brings fame and fortune. Um, the golden energy of the sun, the sun's different, the sun's changed. You know, some chick said to me today, have you been away? I'm like, no, I ain't been nowhere, bruv, in like two years, I haven't been nowhere. She was like, God, you're glowing, like your skin looks orangey. I was, I was like, wow, thank you. I mean, it was a really nice week last week, so I, I did a lot of um, roof time, but... To be honest, um, I believe that the sun, the, in the state that it's in, I don't know what type of sun that is, but whatever that is doing, it's, it's, it's done in some people's dance translation. It's making some people sick and it's making others super healthy. So, you know, I'm faithful. I just get out in the sun as much as I can and I ask for the healing of the sun. I do. I sit in it and I do ask it to heal me while I'm inside this thing. So again, use use the um, the the elements to 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 help with this healing that is coming through, especially with these the, the, the these these counterparts here. And like I said, we've got the six of cups again. This is innocence as well. We 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 we, we are being asked to humble ourselves to 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 see the world as a child would because we don't know what the fuck we really really don't you know so we are being asked to see the world through children's eyes through innocence not be so cynical can't bring that energy into the higher levels of consciousness you cannot it's impossible you won't be able to see it and then you won't believe it Um, so yeah, we've got new start coming and nothing yet is set in stone, mutable moon. So everything is, is, is up for change. Everything, you know, even your own reality and that it starts with your mind. It starts with how you perceive your life and what you, what you, what you, um, are going to be choosing to do with it thus far. And like I said, whatever you planted in the new moon in Aquarius is pretty much going to play out on a massive scale during this full moon and after. I'm I'm trust and believe that. Trust and believe that. So um let's close with Soulful Woman from our lovely Sophia. Sophia, she's grown your yet in here. So Sophia, she popped up quite a lot. Um, in this, in the readings, but yes, my sister right there, girl. Like I said, with, even with this as well, there's victory for the people. We are the power, you know. And you've seen all over the world, people just jumping up and saying, "Nah, actually, fucking nah." So there's that. There's that bit. There's that. I'm gonna hurry up now because my guest has been here. What now? half an hour but you know a witch gotta work a witch gotta work you know i'm gonna take this one heart healing i told you there's a healing going on in this process as well especially here with these with the lovers there's a there's a healing going on man cha it says, and it's an eight, so it's expansion. It says, my courageous healing journey brings me personal awakening and a deeper relationship with myself first. Hmm? I don't think we need to read it. I think it's self-explanatory because I'm going to actually read one more time from In the Meantime by Yann Levan Zantz. Finding yourself and the love you want. Okay. So I'm reading from page 100, final paragraph, it said, God is love. But how many of us really know what that means? How many of us have a distorted perception of God or, or an even worse con concept of love? Many of us do, which is probably why our relationship looks so strange. Relationships always reflect 
what we saw, heard and learned at home. In other words, whatever loving and being loved looked like at home, whatever you were taught was required to get or maintain love will be the primary ingredient in your love recipe. There are also those of us for whom God was nowhere in the picture. As a result, we are working in the dark about love, God, ourselves and the truth about all these things. At some point, we will all discover the truth. In order to do so, we will have to bring God back into our focus. When we do, our relationships will be transformed into deprogramming mechanisms, helping us remember, learn and practice the truth about God, ourselves and love. The key to getting the work done with as little pain as possible is willingness. You have to be willing. And then it says, if, you're, if, if used liberally, willingness will remove the scuff marks from the walls of your heart. If on the other hand you display any signs of resistance, you may find you, your toilet clogged. If at any time on your journey you find yourself stuck or clogged up, you may want to sit down, take a deep breath and remind yourself, this is not a true reflection of me. I'm going to make another choice. I'm going to change my mind. This would be an admirable display of willingness. You may, however, at times discover that there are some stuck on stains ground in dirt in the crevices or that require heavy duty cleaning. When this is the case, cry. While you are crying, forgive yourself for believing that you ever did anything wrong. Remind yourself that everything you have done was in response to what you needed to unlearn. Once you have finished crying, forgiving and remembering, run, do not walk to the nearest mirror. Look at yourself squarely in the eye and say, I love you very much. Okay, guys, that's it. That's it. Too much cleavage, but hey, um, that's it. That's your new moon reading in Pisces. Um, also, stroke equinox energy balance you know coming together being balanced man guys yin yang and yeah i think that's it that is it um i'm definitely going to be back for the new moon in libra balance justice is coming through as well that's another thing as well because what the equinox happens in libra season woo, justice yeah god damn god damn i just listen and i'll be back i will be back for like i said the new moon i'm also still available until the end of the month for personal readings um you can go to mama d tarot at gmail.com um and hit me an email and then we can figure it out from there um i'm still over on mama d tarot on instagram with my stupid antics but i love it there I've, I've cut down a little piece though because I'm not going to lie, there's things fizzling in my brain a little piece. And that's it. That's it. Oh, I love you too, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And um, have a beautiful full moon in um, in Pisces. Shout out to Maya and Elsie for these beautiful roses. I really, I really appreciated them so much. I really actually wanted someone to buy me flowers. And you guys did. Thank you. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you so, so much for coming back and rocking with me. I'm sorry about losing the last video. But um, I hope the recap covered as much as we needed to cover. I'm going to go and entertain my guests now. Alrighty. Have a good one.